made the bold move on the last lap under Peter Collins. It's a good start for Kings Lynn, one and two in heat number three. Well, there we have the Speedway machine, pound for pound, just about the most powerful piece of piston-driven equipment in the world. 500 cc, of course, with no brakes. The luck of the draw really has made the early heats vitally important in this 1980 World Championship final. We're moving on to heat five, and we have three heat winners coming in here, and Michael Lee, who had a fighting second first time out. So, again, an all-important race. Let's have a look at the lineup, and we're going to see on the inside Billy Sanders. There's the rider in white, the only Swede in here, Jan Anderson. On the outside there, it's Michael Lee from England. There is the lineup. So it's Sanders on the inside in the red helmet color, a race winner, three points. Next to him, Bruce Pennell from the USA, three points. Jan Anderson, grid three, a race winner, first time out. He's in white, and on the outside is Anderson. It's Michael Lee with a second place. So all four of these riders still really must have their eyes on the 1980 World Speedway Championship crown. A crown worth around about 200,000 pounds over the next year of racing. So it's well worth going for. Heat five, something really has to give here. Inside Sanders, next to him panel, grid three, Anderson. On the outside, Michael Lee. The inside grids look like being worth about a five yard start in the first heat, but uh, Sanders made a nonsense of all that in his last ride coming from the outside. Let's see heat number five. Oh, it's a tremendous start, and it's uh, Panel who gets away up to the corner. And on the outside there, it is Michael Lee. Panel leads it. Lee goes around the outside. Anderson trying hard to get round Sanders into third place. Doesn't do so, and Michael Lee pushing hard on Bruce Panel there, and all those coming to grief. Panel leads for America. Second place is Lee battling hard. Third place is Billy Sanders, and at the back it is Jan Anderson. And they really are going flat out around this 400 meter Ulevi Stadium track. It's a bit, uh, still a bit slick, but this is probably will improve and help the riders at the back later in the program. At the moment, it's Michael Lee who had to work hard to get under Peter Collins, and he's done it this time, and he's gone past Pedal. Pedal made a mistake there, and Lee spotted it and went through like a steam train and coming hard under Sanders. It is Anderson at the back, but uh, Michael Lee there in absolutely rampant mood. So, our England to get a world champion, we wonder, because Michael Lee was second first time out, Pennell there is trying hard, but Lee has come from the back twice, and that looks tremendous, he wins heat number five, second place was Pennell, third was Sanders, and that is where Ace that may well have sorted the men from the boys. Pennell, always a sportsman, acknowledges that he made a mistake, and Michael Lee, to his undying credit, spotted it and was through as quick as lightning, and on those sort of moments, our World Championships won and lost. Well, here is that incident which really sorted out heat number five. Bruce Pennell seemed to be in command, just overtook the corner slightly. Michael Lee, right on his back wheel, saw his opportunity, dived through the gap, and from then on, it was all over. Well, they've all done two starts. We thought it was going to be close at the top, and just look at this leaderboard. We have got four riders on five points, the winner in the second place. Bruce Pennell, Michael Lee, Finn Thompson, and Dave Jessup, and two riders on four, breathing right down the neck. Billy Sanders and the only previous champion in the field, Peter Collins. Finn Thompson, one of the two co-leaders. Heat 11 coming up, and we have two of the co-leaders here. Michael Lee there in blue, and Finn Thompson from Denmark in yellow and black, with two and four are the ones to watch for. The Czechoslovakians, well, Alice Dremel on the inside in red, uh, runners up first time out, but had a good win, surprise win in his last ride. He has three points. Uh, Petra Ondasek in white from the Wolverhampton side of the British League has no score yet. Heat 11 then, Michael Lee has looked by far the sharpest and most competent at coming from the back. He's had to do it the hard way in two of his early rides to get points. Hasn't been gauging that quickly. Finn Thompson had a second first time out and then had a marvellous win in his second ride, really a little bit against the, the four book. So he's on five points. Here's uh, Lee trying to settle down. Lee 
and Thompson almost certainly the riders to watch for. Though if Alice Dribble hops out from the inside, he could be a real spoiler here in heat number 11. Well, they are getting impatient. Oh, Michael Lee seemed to be moving there as the tapes went up, but he's got away with it. And Thompson was left, and Thompson's back, right in the back, going around the outside of on traffic. Michael Lee really anticipated that start quite beautifully. And uh, referee Thor Kittleson is satisfied, and it's going to take an awful lot to stop Michael Lee now. Certainly in this race, and second behind his Kingsland uh, teammate Dave Jessup early on, but Michael Lee, third in the world, last year only 21 still in his fourth world final looking like pick the ultimate prize this time Thompson's back in third place dribble as we rather suspected uh, once he gets going out of the gate it's an awkward customer to catch and bypass Thompson has made no impression at all on him this is the last lap Michael Lee Cool and very calm, and surely we'll collect three more points. And England, well, having a fair old night to date. Got Lee up on the leaderboard, then we'll take him into the lead overall. At this stage, he wins. Second place was Dribble. Third place, Finn Thompson. Surely his chance is gone now. Flickered briefly. And last was Peter Ondrasek. What did happen at the start? of heat number 11. You can see Michael Lee there is in the blue helmet in grid two. He's impatient and it did look as though he might just have been moving when the tapes went up. A clear case of clever anticipation perhaps. Heat 12 uh, could uh, be well worth watching because we've got Billy Sanders and Dave Jessup, uh, both of them still within touch of the title technically, and two good spoilers in Hans Nielsen and Chris Morton in blue and yellow respectively. Line up for heat 12. Billy Sanders on the inside has a win and a third. Four points total. Hans Nielsen, a second and a third. Three points. Dave Jessup, co leader, uh, with five points, a win and a second. And Chris Morton on the outside, the Intercontinental Champion, with a second and a third. So heat 12, and anything could really give here. From the inside, it is Sanders, and from the outside, it is Jessup. And Sanders is from Australia, though Jessup has he got the horsepower as they roar down the back straight together. There's absolutely no way you can separate them. Into the bottom corner, Jessup on the outside, Sanders on the inside, and the inside again proving the best. Line to take now is Jessup has switched inside. Can Sanders hold him back? This is a good race. This is real speedway, and Billy Sanders holds off the challenge. First inside, rather first outside, then inside from Dave Jessup, and again Jessup trying the inside run on him and coming into contention. And third place is Chris Morton. <laughs> we really have got a speedway race to savor. Now Morton has moved up on Dave Jessup, and he's not too far behind him. And in fact, if uh, Jessup leaves more holes like that, I think Chris Morton might just pop past him. Sanders from Australia, and Ipswich leads it. His East Anglian compatriot Dave Jessup from Kingsland in second place. Chris Morton from Bellevue, Manchester. There's only about 10 lengths between the three of them. And, uh, well, Sanders really has ridden a very bold race here, and Dave Jessup trying desperately to make up that lost ground. Started co-favourite. He's already dropped one point. He can do something extra special. He's going to drop another one. Sanders back in contention. He wins. Second place, Jessup. Third place, Chris Morton. Hans Nielsen at the back, his chance gone surely now in 1980. So after three rides, it's beginning to look good for Michael Lee from England in Kings Lynn. Clearly now with a one point advantage with eight points. Then we have three riders jointly in second place. Billy Sanders from Australia, Dave Jessup and Peter Collins from England and breathing right down there next. We have Finn Thompson and Bruce Paddle on six apiece. <laughs> 